Oh, look at that. Another major online outage that means you can't book travel, find a date, or order that refill of toilet paper you so desperately need. Seriously, send help. If it seems to you like many of the sites you depend on are going down more frequently, you're definitely not alone. But it's not like Facebook and Amazon are running on Windows Vista. So why the heck do these multi-billion dollar services seem so unreliable? It might be easy to blame some of the high profile outages we've seen over the past few years on the COVID pandemic due to the huge amount of load placed on cloud servers from folks working from home or otherwise staying in. I mean, it's a lot of Zoom calls. But while stay at home orders and remote work did play a part, critical services experiencing downtime was already becoming an all too frequent problem before the pandemic. And it's still a big concern even now that much of the world is trying to get back to normal. But like most wide scale problems, there are many things at play. For starters, round the clock internet usage became very common very quickly. Think about the explosion in always connected IoT devices. People leaving high def videos playing all night so they can fall asleep to them and massive game and software downloads that often take place while users are in bed. These things just weren't that common only 10 years ago, but the explosion in net traffic since then has overloaded infrastructure that was only designed to handle peak traffic during certain hours of the day. But with all the resources that big tech has, why does this problem seem to be getting worse instead of getting better? We'll tell you right after we thank FreshBooks, the invoicing and accounting solution that's built for owners and their clients. FreshBooks users save a ton of time and money. We're talking 11 hours a week that they used to spend sorting through invoices and keeping track of financials. Plus, 94% of FreshBooks users say it's super easy to get up and running. And with award-winning support, you're never alone. Switch to FreshBooks today and join over 24 million people who have used it and loved it. Try FreshBooks free for 30 days, no credit card required by going to freshbooks.com slash techquickie and get started today. So the fact that big tech is so well, big, is actually part of the issue here. Even though the internet is a pretty big place, there are actually a fairly small number of services that help run a huge number of sites. For example, Amazon Web Services provides back-end cloud computing for everything from your Netflix recommendations to your Roomba vacuum to your Venmo account to even your airline reservations. And of course, AWS has had numerous outages that have made headlines with causes as diverse as server cooling failures, nasty weather, overloaded systems, and DDoS attacks. Amazon does have redundancies built in, but even so, the fact that one company helps support so much net traffic leaves one very obvious point of failure for lots of services that you didn't even know were reliant on Amazon, or one of its few large-scale competitors, like Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. And to top it all off, your ISP is routing much of this traffic over cable lines that haven't received upgrades to improve capacity in a very long time, which can lead to congestion in the last mile of wiring that goes to your house. And there isn't even enough fiber on the back end right now to keep up with projected increases in data usage, especially as mobile carriers continue to roll out 5G. So until cloud systems become more secure and more redundant, and telecom providers build out better infrastructure, I would not count on 100% uptime. But the good news is that these outages give you an excuse to stop mindlessly scrolling through your phone and go touch some grass. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit us up in the comment section with your ideas of topics that we should cover in the future.